Good evening from Daya Daily. It's August 22nd. I'm Ling Hui. Chinese characters on business signboards and road signs has never been an issue in Sarawak. Everywhere we go, we see big business signboards in big Chinese characters. In all the cities and towns in Sarawak, road signs in Chinese is also a common sight. Recently, however, missing Chinese characters in road signs has become an issue. On August 14, Michael Kong, special assistant to Chong Chen Zhen, complained that there were road signs in Kota Sarmarahan Municipal Council and PKS area that they are void of Chinese characters. In response, MPKS instantly fixed these road signs and settled the issue. Following the incident, former Stambian MP Julian Tan went on a hunt at Kuching North City Commission, DBKU area, and discovered that Chinese characters are missing in certain road signs in the bazaar area. He then wrote to DBKU and claimed that he did not receive any response. With that, on August 20th, Tan, together with a group of the Democratic Action Party Socialist Youth, also known as DAPSI members, took the matter into their own hands and put up Chinese characters for the road signs of Jalan Main Bazaar, Wayang Street, and Jalan Green Hill. The event was duly publicized in DAP Sarawak's Facebook page. The post went viral in a few hours and attracted many feedbacks from various party leaders and representatives. Most condemned Dapsi's action as vandalism and against the law. On the same day, Sarawak Commissioner of Police, Dato ID Ismail, said the police received a police report from one of the officers in DBKU and the police were ready to carry out the investigation. Yesterday, on August 21st, the police called in Debsi Kuching Chairwoman Daphne Ting for investigation for putting up Chinese characters on road signs without the local authorities' permissions. DAP Sarawak's chairman, Chong Chen Chen, who was also at Simpang Tiga police station yesterday afternoon, told a media conference that there was no ill intention to raise racial disharmony as they were just trying to restore the bilingual road signs which had existed in Sarawak for many years. Meanwhile, DBKU has demanded that Dapsi immediately remove the Chinese character stickers on the road signages for Jalan Main Bazaar, Wayang Street and Jalan Green Hill as well as issue an open apology for the actions. Assistant Minister in the Chief Minister Department, Islamic Affairs and DBKU, Datuk Dr. Abdul Rahman Junahi, in a press conference, characterized their actions as vandalism. Abdul Rahman, who is also Assistant Minister of Utilities, Water Supply, pointed out their actions implicated disrespect for the law, the local authorities, and as if challenging DBKU to take legal actions. The wider implication of their actions is that it could cause tension among the races. Sarawak has many languages, and if Mandarin, other than the national language Bahasa Malaysia, is used for sure, others will want their respective languages like Iban, Jawi, Bidayu, and others to be included. Bahasa Malaysia is the national language in the federal constitution. People are free to use other languages, but in the context of street signages in Kuching North City, it is better to just use one language to represent all races and adopted by all walks of life, he said. DBKU expressed hope that no other parties will repeat the wrongdoings which were provocative and could affect the harmonious living among people 
in this diverse community. Amid the heated discussion, Party Pesaka Bumi Putra Basatu, PBB Information Chief, Dato Idris Buang, too had a say. He asserted that Debsi members were indeed aware of their actions being illegal and improper, but they were indifferent towards the rules and regulations because they just wanted to get the message out that only the AP is fighting for the rights of the Chinese in Sarawak. In response to all the condemnations and police investigation, Chong held a press conference today. He said that Dapsi Kuching has agreed to remove the Chinese character stickers and will make the necessary arrangements. He explained that Dapsi Kuching Chief Daphne Ting would also on Monday go to DBKU to accept the compound notice for the alleged vandalism offence. Admitting that the U members might have acted over hastily, Chong, however, defended that the spirit of their actions was of good intent, which was to preserve and restore the good cultures, traditions and multiculturalism in Sarawak. Is this an attempt to stir up racial issue for cheap publicity or a real concern for the loss of Chinese culture? Is there a hidden agenda for some quarters to deliberately omit the Chinese characters or just an outcome of fair policy? Whether such issue should continue to be debated or be treated as a storm in a teacup and that Sarawakians should just dismiss it with a shrug. We will let Sarawakians be the judge. This is Ling Wei from Diet Daily. Visit dietdaily.com for more updates and have a great evening.